Hey guys, Kim here and you are tuned back into my channel, Kim E, the Diabetes MP. Today we are going to tackle the DPP for eyes, the long name for it, which this is going to be the first and last time I'm going to say it on this video because it's a tongue tie, Dipeptidyl Peptidase 4 Inhibitors. Aren't y'all just loving these names? Anywho, this drug class includes your Genuvia, Trigenta, and Unglitza. This is a very common drug class. It's something that we probably see a lot in our practice. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay guys, let's get into a little overview. So if you have been following me for some time, you know that last week I did the video over the GLP-1 receptor agonist. And I wanted to do that drug class first though it's not an oral medication it is an injectable class but i felt like i needed to cover that class before i jumped into the dpp4 eyes so if you have not watched that video stop this video go and watch that video and then come back and finish watching this video i'm going to put the link up here you'll probably see a little banner up here and i'm also going to put it in the description box so you'll have quick access to it but i think that it'll be important that you watch that one first before we start before you start this one. so by the name you already know that it's an inhibitor it inhibits the enzyme that breaks down GLP-1 glucagon like peptide 1 now what we learned last week in last week's video is that we actually want GLP to be circulating in abundance why well, GLP-1, not only does it decrease glucagon, okay, which means that it will decrease the hepatic glucose production, it also ups insulin, okay, it also creates this feeling of fullness for the person, makes them feel like they're full, which ultimately means that food intake is going to decrease because they feel full. So in a nutshell, that's what this drug class does. And I hope you understand why I wanted to do GLP-1-RAs last week before I did this because it'll help you understand this drug class a lot better. One thing to note about the DPP-4-Is is that this is a drug class that is actually preferred over the GLP-1-RAs. And it's kind of obvious. I mean, how many of our patients really are going to buy into injectables, okay? The GLP-1-RAs are definitely a stronger medicine, but, and more effective actually, as I was looking in my research, but it's preferred. This this drug class works good, just not as good, but it works great. It does work good, um, but it's preferred. It's preferred for our patients, and so that means that it's a preferred option for us as well. Let's get into side effects. Now, with this drug class, we're going to talk about some side effects that we haven't really typically seen in past drug classes, but your more common Side effects with this drug class, the DPP-4-Is, are upper respiratory infection. You're also going to see headaches. These are your common side effects. Now with the drug Unglitza that's in this drug class, you're going to see UTIs. And I actually even saw that you will actually or could perhaps see more peripheral edema in Unglitza, in the use of Unglitza, than you see in TZDs. Now we learned back in that video in the TZDs, which I'll go ahead and I'll flash up here, that that is one of the uh, side effects or is edema. Okay, and so those are your side effects. Not too many, but enough to keep your eye open. Precautions and contraindications. So with this drug class, and really honestly, if I'm being honest with you, with all drug classes, <laughs> you really do need to monitor the kidney and the liver function. I think that goes without saying, especially if we have patients that are elderly. We know that as we age, our kidney function will decrease. And so this is something that we need to be mindful of to ensure that the drug is clearing through the symptom uh, system. But one of the biggest things that we need to be mindful of is pancreatitis. If your patient starts to develop signs and symptoms of pan pancreatitis, this actually is not only your pop, but also a good pal as well, then you need to discontinue this drug. We need to not only be able to identify the signs and symptoms of pancreatitis, but we need to educate our patients as well so they will be able to tell us so we can promptly 
discontinue this medication. All right, guys, this video was quick, sweet, and simple. Again, if you have not seen the GLP-1-RA video that was before this video, go watch that video and then watch this video. I really was trying to be very mindful of how I order these videos so they can make sense. At the end of the day, I want this to be a resource and I want this to be helpful to my colleagues. And so I really encourage you to do that. Also guys, I mentioned, I believe on the last video, and I know I mentioned on my Instagram, which is the Diabetes MP, that from now on, moving forward, each time I go through a drug class, I am going to have a diabetic med cheat sheet to go along with the video. And I went ahead and I went back and I created the sheets from the videos of the past. And moving forward, each video is gonna have its own cheat sheet as well. It is in the description box. It is free, okay? So download this. This can be something that you can print off, keep at your office, or you can download it on your phone for on the go if you want to check some references or whatever. Um, but it's to be of a help. It's to be of another resource for you all. It's simple. I have it set out like a, like a concept mind map, but it's supposed to be something that is to help, okay? Lastly, guys, I want to just thank you all for following along with me on YouTube. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, share if you care. And if you're on social media, I'm very active over on Instagram at the Diabetes MP. Over there, I share more tips, more little tidbits and resources that I come across. I do impromptu videos when I'm just out and about and I have an idea, I just turn on my camera. So you definitely want to be following me over there as well. And again, you've been watching Kim E, the Diabetes NP, and I'll catch you later. Bye.